that the center and the summit. The summit will not lead to it because by the calculation of the circle, the immediate first government of the state was from central. Remember that there is no the circle of government God for the success that we have recorded in this election and to thank Mr. President you want me to, okay and to thank Mr. President President Muhammad Buhari, the Vice President and National Leader in particular I want to thank my brother governors who have been here all the while since we started this and all of them in the campaign council led by Jide Sonwolu for the wonderful work they have done. I think the campaign council have been most wonderful. They have been most supportive. We are grateful to you and I thank you all for the great work you have done. So I want to thank also the great people of Ondo State. Uh, you are great. Ondo, Odo Asenwao. So I thank 
the great people of Ondo State, everybody here, for the wonderful things you have done. I want to thank you, and I can assure you that this confidence you have reposed in us will not be thrown away. We will hold this as a sacred trust to continue in a style of leadership which I believe this is more or less a validation of that style of leadership. I thank you. I thank everybody. And, and what's your message to your opponents? Well, I have, uh, let me let me hear without without uh, mixing words. I I I believe that uh, if you are talking about politics, there's no way you go about it without having adversaries. So I don't have opponents. I don't believe they are my political opponents. They are my adversaries. And no doubt we have gone through this race, and I call on all of them to come and let us support each other to make this state great. Everybody has his own part to play. Everybody has his own qualities. So let those, I mean, all of them, let us all join hands to make on those state great again. Thank That's you, my Mr. message. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, we have a lot of governors here, and uh, particularly we have the governor of Lagos State, Mr. Babajide Son Wolu, who will also speak to us now. Now, um, uh, Your Excellency, what does this win mean for the APC politics in the Southwest? Well, thank you very much. I think, like what uh, brother Arakuni had said, it's a win for all of us, from the entire leadership of our party, uh, Mr. President, that has led from the front, the chairman of our party, the caretaker chairman, and His Excellency Governor of Yube State. And you can see the teamwork. It's not one person. It's a whole team that has come together. And so what it means is that when we all work together as a team, we win together. And the real winners, the real winners at the end of the day, are the citizens of Undo State. Because indeed, they have re-elected somebody that is a talk and do governor. We've all gone around, we've seen him, and he's deserving. It's not a, a show, it's deserving. We've gone around, even the, the, coming from here, from Akure, it, it's clear to me that Undo people know what is right, they've done what is right, and they've given him opportunity to continue his good work. And I want to thank him, thank his family, Thank everybody in Ondo State and thank all my brothers that have supported us. Thank, thank you very much. much. Excellency, we still have more governors with us, here, with us here. And I'm going straight now to the governor of Kogi State, Yahya Bello. Now, Your Excellency, uh, what's your reaction to this another win in Kogi Thank you very much. We give glory to God Almighty for this wonderful victory to the people, for the people of Ondo State. Governor Arroyo to me, Akere Dolu as well and to our great party. Like all the governors that have spoken earlier said, it's a teamwork. You can see our broom, I mean our sign is broom. When we all come together, it is difficult to be broken. We are together, we are one, and we are solid. The, this election is to simply prove that APC is strong and united. And by the special grace of God, Every election we shall continue to win because every governor and our legislators are performers. Thank God that I have a wonderful friend, brother, and a good neighbor. Kogi State requires and we need good neighbors. This is one of my neighbors that is joining me once again. And here is another neighbor that is seated here today. And uh, I am being surrounded by APC and very wonderful friends and brothers. We give glory to God Almighty and all the youth of the country, I want to urge each and every one of us that we should continue to support this government, support Mr. President, support Governor Rotimi Akere Dolu, support APC, because through APC we shall get to the promised land. We thank God. Thank you very much, Your Excellency. And uh, we, are, we also have the Governor of Oshun State. Uh, Your Excellency, what's your reaction to this another win for the APC in the Southwest? Well, first of all, let me congratulate our uh, brother for this wonderful victory in Swiss. I congratulate the First Lady as well. I congratulate our President, Mumbai Buhari, the Vice President and leaders. And I must thank uh, all the governors who have been so united in supporting our brother. Well done wonderfully well. I must uh, commend the chairman of the campaign. He has relocated from Lagos for about one week now. I congratulate you. And I think it's important for us to realize that 
APC remains very strong. APC is in charge. Nobody should have a doubt about that. And with unity of purpose, we will take APC to greater heights, even be, 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 between now and 2023. I believe this is a signal for the other parties to know that we are sitting in charge. The other experience will ne never repeat itself in any part of our APC state. We will prove that in Ondo, and I believe we will do so in other parts of the state. God bless you. Thank you very much, Your Excellency. The governor of Ondo State has uh, a, a, a thank you speech for the people of the state. So we now go back to the governor of Ondo State, His Excellency Uluwaro Timi Oduayo Akredolu, for his thank you speech. Then I will praise you with music on the harp because you are faithful to your promises. Oh my God, I will sing praises to you with love. Oh, Holy One of Israel, I will shout for joy and sing your praises for you have ransomed me. I will tell about your righteous deeds all day long. My dear people of Ondo State, join me in acknowledging the grace the Almighty for the outcome of this exercise. I cannot thank all of you enough for the peaceful conduct witnessed generally in all the local government areas of the state. I cannot thank our security agencies also enough for the way they have behaved in these last three days. I thank all those whose resolve for growth in our state remain a steady source of inspiration. The renewal of our mandate in this election is an eloquent testimony to the degree of acceptance by you, the good people of Ondo State. It affirms that the confidence we pose in our administration remains unshaken. It is a statement of your assessment of our performance in the last three and a half years, it is unequivocal, it is direct, inspiring, and soul-lifting. It is awesome. It is a reward for hard work, dedication, focus, honesty, and patriotism. It is also a challenge to us for the dedication to service in the interest of our people. On this, we shall not relent. We set out on the first leg of this political adventure with the determination to make the whole state a constituency. We have not relented on our mission and we shall not relent to bridge the huge infrastructural deficit inherited on our social office. We hold the axiom as evident that the welfare of the people should be the only justification for the existence of a government. We have Allow this admonition to be the guiding principle of governance. We are elated to receive a scorecard through the statewide plebiscite. The resounding victory of our great party, our Progressives Congress, throws an open challenge to all stakeholders not to choose the path of complacency. We have noted a few dissenting voices of protest in this referendum. We heard them loud and clear. We intend to address genuine grievances. We shall continue to focus on the development of a God-given space, the Sunshine State. Our administration, that is my humble self, including the Deputy Governor elect, Lucky Orimison, Aida will not be distracted in the discharge of a sacred mandate. The people will continue to be the center of all decisions. As you note in my speeches, that the people of this state, my romance in politics is with the people of this state. We'll proceed with our administrative style, which promotes transparency and accountability. We are determined to set our state on a, progressively path, on a progressive path of real development, self-reliance is certainly attainable. Our state has no business 
with poverty. To be sincere, we will remain purposeful, we will remain focused, and we believe we should have little difficulty in harnessing the vast resources, both human and natural. We will put in everything to justify the trust reposed in us. Let me use this opportunity to thank the chairman and members of our, of our party, Katika slash Extraordinary National Convention Planning Committee, Governor Meimala Buni, for their cooperation and honorary support. I, have, I, I want to use this medium also to admonish them to all continue to assist the government with the same spirit of oneness, sincerity, and love our people stand to benefit immensely from our unity. I thank security agencies. I've, I've done that earlier on. And I want to thank our election umpires too. I want to thank all our traditional rulers here, community leaders. I want to thank especially our youth for ensuring that there was peace in the state during the exercise. Let me congratulate my brother, Malanef colleague, Ejita Jagede. SEN, the candidate of the People's Democratic Party for participating in this historic process. His patriotism is not in doubt. His love for the people is unassailable. He is indeed a worthy adversary. Our state is indeed blessed to have someone of his quality, and I want to mention it specifically. Let me commend the chairman I, I think I've talked on this. Let me thank Mr. President and Commander-in-Chief of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, President Muhammad Buhari, GCFR, for the support and love. I salute his courage in the defense of the tenets of democracy. I also acknowledge my brother, also my learned brother, the Vice President, Professor Yemi Oshibaju, SEN, GCON, for his support. Let me equally acknowledge the unflinching support of our national leader, Ashaju Bola Metinumbu, posterity will remember all of them for good. I must acknowledge my chairman, a great chairman, a young man that has done seriously and tremendously well. Governor Babajide Sonwolu. I must recognize you and our other brothers, all of them who came in for flag off, for the mega rally, the final rally, and those who have been with us for about a week, all of them are still here. I must acknowledge the governor of Oshun, Boyega, Oyetola, Ileri Olua. I must acknowledge the governor of Kogi, Yaya Belu. I must acknowledge my brother, the governor of Ekiti State, John Kayode, fire me. And I must acknowledge our two other brothers and others who have left, the governor of Kebi and the governor of Jigawa, for their support. They stood with us like Rock of Gibraltar. And other governors, particularly my own very good friend, the past governor, immediate past governor of Ogun State. Sia, Oye, Omo, Ajiri, Ebukule, Amosu. I, I thank you for your support. I will pay. <laughs> so, let me also seize the opportunity to recognize the chairman of our great party in Ondo State, Engineer Ade Adetimei, Mr. Johnson, and members of his and members of his state working committee for their resilience. I think they have tried. I must not fail to mention again my running mate, who I'm sure will remain very loyal. Yes. Abby, yes. he will be loyal. Yes. He will be loyal to the end. Yes. Uh, yes. And that's uh, Lucky Ori Miso, Ayeda Tiwa, and his amiable wife, who had. As you know, he was not resident here before. He has, I'm sure he will relocate. Because yes. before they take this man from you, come back from London. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, lastly, 
we couldn't have done this without the first lady of the state. Yes, sir. We have done it. She has, she's a wonderful lady. And as I said before, this state, by this election also, this is one for the price of two. So I, I want to thank the first lady for his support. Again, let me thank the almighty for his, this overwhelming victory. I make this solemn pledge not to betray this most liberal trust reposed in us by the people of this state. I thank all those state people. I thank all aspirants that were contested the primaries together, all of whom came back to give support to us. I thank all leaders of our party in Ondo State who have done tremendously well. We have all worked together. If not for our unity, we would have had this success. I thank you all. I thank you all. Ladies and gentlemen, let me thank the media. I can see that you are here in large numbers. As we did yesterday, you are more than voters when I go to the, to the polling booth. <laughs> I said to you, are you the ones who are milk well? You are also here today in large numbers. Great men. Uh, uh, yes. I, I want to thank you, the press, for everything. I, uh, a woman leader has done so well, though, but I thought she was a member of the uh, com committee, but I'm asked to single her out because she did very well. You see, uh, Stella Okotete, I have told them that you should leave woman leader. When, if they zone secretary or area, go and contact a secretary, because, because you are a good worker, a workaholic. Thank you, woman leader, you have tried. So ladies and gentlemen, I thank you all for your patience. I say go, Mokinyo. And you can do so there, Nova.